All right, guys, so a couple of videos on uh, the universal motor. I've had some appliances that have been kicking around the, uh, the house that I wanted to rip apart. Uh, this was actually given to me from a, uh, from a student. This was from, I believe, a vacuum cleaner or something. Uh, so this is a, a universal motor. It is a, uh, a series DC motor that runs on AC. So we can make out, uh, let's look at all the different components here. So we have uh, two coils of wire. So there's a coil of wire right here that goes around like this. Then you can see that on the other side, there is an identical coil of wire that comes around like this. So this is the series winding of a standard series DC motor. Uh, but it runs on AC. So we have AC going in here. Here's my line of neutral uh, 120 going into this guy. So I have my series windings on the outside. And then on the inside, uh, I have my armature. The armature is made up of the, the commutator. So you can just make out right here uh, the commutator. And if, as I spin the motor there, you can see that um, it is moving with or it's mounted on the shaft of the, of the motor. So we need to get into that moving magnet there. In order to do so, there are brushes. So uh, you might be able to just make out the brush on this side and on this side. There is a spring that's in here. So this guy right here is a spring. Can I rip that open? No, she's nice and tight, but uh, just in there, you just may put, no, you can't see it all. Um, but right there, there is a, a spring that is pushing down on the brush and allowing the current to flow into the commutator of the armature. So the armature is the, the whole inside portion of the, of the motor. And by placing current to that point right there, let me zoom in. So you can just make it with the shadows. There is a, a brush right here and a brush right there. Um, you can see the on the actual commutator there that, uh, zoom in, there we go. There's a little bit of black there. So that's not from arcing or anything. That's just the like a fine film of the, the carbon graphite from the, from the brush that's being placed onto the commutator. That's actually good because it, it provides better continuity between the brush and the commutator and it makes for a more slippery uh, connection there. So um, we don't want the, the commutator to be moving around too much. You can see that there's a little bit of play there, but that's because the bearing on this side isn't mounted on anything. So it's usually, you know, fairly solid there. And then the brush is making good contact with the, uh, with the commutator. As I spin the, the machine here, you can see that the, each of those commutator segments right here are connected up or brazed onto a number of different windings that go through on the inside of the motor. So you can see the inside of the machine there. And as I spin that guy, then that would be simulating the current going to the armature, going through this winding, creating a magnetic field. Um, and once we create a magnetic field on the outside, so we'll create a north and a south pole on the outside, that will push against the north and south pole that gets created on the inside on the armature. And then this magnetic field will be, uh, will be pushed and pulled by the outside magnetic field. Now this series motor is usually used on, uh, on all of your household items. So you'll see them in blenders. Um, you'll see them on vacuum cleaners. It is a series motor. And with, remember that a series motor without a load takes off at a disgusting rate of speed. So they're perfect for a vacuum cleaner because they can uh, get up to an insane speed um, just by, and have a lot of torque as well. So all this has to do is just create a, a vacuum. It does so by spinning at a disgusting rate of speed once you put the AC to it. Now remember that uh, a series motor, if you change the, the source polarity, so if you change the positive and negative going into the motor, then you change both the inside magnet and the outside magnetic field. So that's what's happening on the, the sine wave. As the sine wave goes in here, then the positive portion of the sine wave creates one magnetic field on the outside series and the armature. And then as the negative portion of the sine wave comes through, it flips both the series winding and the armature polarity, and the motor keeps spinning in the same direction. So it's really cool. It has beefed up windings to allow for the AC uh, to go into it. Um, so it has, I believe, a little bit more inductance uh, to reduce the current flow from the AC. But this guy could run on DC as well. So if I have a DC supply, it would also spin. So let's turn this guy on. I'm a little bit nervous because I don't have anything holding that bearing right there. So it's going to rock around. You can see that the tolerance between the, uh, 
like the physical placement between the armature and the and the field windings is like a millimeter apart, right? So it's going to be banging up at probably on the bottom portion there. Um, but we'll see how she uh, spins and what speed we get out of it. So I've already got this guy um, plugged in, so we'll just give her and then uh, <laughs> hopefully I don't hurt myself, hurt myself. Let's see. Whoa, gee, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> okay, maybe we might want to uh, have that guy uh, tied down. Hang on for a minute. Let me go get uh, something to tie that bad boy down. I knew I was going to get hurt. Okay, she's all clamped down now. Nobody's going to get hurt. So uh, this guy, I believe, is going to be going in a clockwise direction. And I've got the clamp here. Not clamped onto anything, uh, but it's just placed on the table. So it should be good. We'll have to cut out the sound once we turn this guy on because it is insanely loud. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. My goodness, man, that's fast. <clears throat> Let's see, is it hot? No, it's not hot, uh, but I can smell, oh, there's lots of smoke in a pancake here. Um, so you can see uh, down here on the on the table here, there's all kinds of uh, dust and debris that came out of the, the motor there. Um, let's turn around the other side and let's see if there's any sparkage happening on the, uh, on the brushes. Okay, so let's try and take a look at the brushes here. So um, this commutator was rocking around there a little bit, but let's see if we get any arcing and sparking on the, uh, on the brushes. So the brush again is right here, making contact with the commutator, but we'll see if we get any spark action as we uh, juice it up. Ready in three, two, one. Holy cow, man, that guy's fast. Okay, let's take a look at her one more time. So last one here. So um, cause it's getting smoking hot. Like it's really hot to the touch now. Um, that is because basically the, the armature there is, uh, is like smacking into the, the field poles there. Um, so it's creating all kinds of heat from uh, friction. So again, we'll take a look one more time at the brushes and we'll see how fast this guy goes. There we go. Now you can see how fast it's going. It seems to have gotten that beauty point right there. It's just flying now. And you might just be able to make out on the brush. No, you can't see it right now. But it's just rocking there. Okay, let's turn her off. Woo! My goodness, that guy flies. Oh, it's smoking, it's on fire. <laughs> Hang on, it's on fire. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay, so uh, if you're going to uh, take apart one of your appliances, you might just be able to see the smoke coming off that, uh, that motor there. I can feel the heat all the way back here. Uh, but just be careful if you're doing this. Uh, make sure that you've mounted it properly. This thing goes at a disgusting rate of speed. Um, also make sure you don't electrocute yourself because you are putting uh, 120 volts into this guy. Yeah, the conductors on the, uh, on the armature, maybe I can just move it around like this. You might be able to see just right there. Uh, the conductors on the armature are smoked, man. The, uh, the varnish is starting to melt and everything. So just a disgusting amount of... Uh, current going into this machine. Cool. So, but hopefully I uh, kept you entertained for a bit. Uh, obviously we can see that a, a universal motor is a series DC motor that runs on AC, has a disgusting amount of uh, torque and goes at a disgusting rate of speed. Perfect for uh, vacuum cleaners. Uh, and the torque is perfect for uh, your blenders. So if you put a mechanical load onto it, like a, uh, a blender in your house, that's got enough, uh, enough torque to crush all the ice and everything. All right, guys, thanks very much. We'll see you on the next one. Hopefully you're entertained on this one. Uh, leave some comments below. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.